Hi everyone. Welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In my previous video, I explained I designed Lambda by 2 microchip transmission line at 5 gigahertz operating frequency. And this is the design of Lambda by 2 microchip transmission line at 5 gigahertz operating frequency. In this video, I will show the simulation results of Lambda by 2 microchip transmission line at 5 gigahertz operating frequency. So right click on the results, create model solution data re report, select the rectangular part, select S parameter, select S11, S12, S21, S22 and decibel. So click on the new report. S parameters results will be observed. So now we have the operating frequencies 5 gigahertz. So right click on the screen, select the marker, add marker, select the 5 gigahertz operating frequency. Click on this position. So the operating frequencies 5 gigahertz. And this is S11 parameter, S11 curve, and this is S22 curve, and this is S12, S21 curve. So S11, S, S2, uh, S11, S22, the return loss value is at 5 gigahertz minus 25.5 decibel. The theoretical value of the return loss value is minus 10 decibels. Uh, less than minus 10 decibel the lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line perfectly designed now where the the return loss value or the s parameter value is minus 25.5 decibel so the lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line at 5 gigahertz operating frequency successfully designed and s1 s1 to s21 that is almost zero next we can observe the VSWR plot, right click on the results, create model solution data report, select the rectangular plot, VSWR, select VSR1, VSR2, click on new report. So this is the VSWR plot. Mark the VSWR value at 5 gigahertz operating frequency. At 5 gigahertz frequency, the VSWR value is 1.11. Actually, the theoretical value of VSWR value is 1, and practically, we will get up to 2.6. Now, here uh, we got 1.1 so change the rename and this is s parameter vswr plot and after that observe the radiation patterns uh, 2d radiation pattern 3d radiation pattern so uh, before uh, before going to observe radiation patterns, first to create the infinite far field setup. So right click on this radiation, select insert far field setup, click on the infinite sphere. The theta value is 0 to 360 and strut size is 5 and uh, pi is 0 to 360 and strut size is 5. Theta value is 0 to 360 and uh, strut size is 5. So click on OK button. So uh, far field setup, infinite far field setup is created. And after that, we can observe the radiation pattern. So 
So right click on the result, select the power field report, radiation pattern. So again radiation pattern, again radiation pattern. Select the suitable frequencies. Now we have all the five values are 0 to 360. Select the five values are 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270, 360 degrees. So these are the five values. So click on the new report. Click on the new report. So this is the 2D radiation pattern. At 0 degrees, at uh, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. And this is again radiation pattern. Similarly, you can observe directivity radiation pattern. So right click on the results, go to the create power field results, select radiation pattern, select the directivity. Similarly, you can select the uh, five values, click on the new report, click on the new report. So this is the directivity radiation part for 0 degrees to 360 degrees, 0 to 360 degrees. For all five values, you can observe the directivity radiation pattern. Next, observe the 3D polar plot. Right click on the results. Go to create for fields. Select 3D polar plot and select gain. Gain total in decibel. Click on the new report. So, this is the gain 3D polar plot. Gain 3D polar plot. Next, observe the directivity 3D polar plot. Right click on the results. Go to the create for field. Select 3D polar plot. Select directivity in the uh, directivity total in decibel. Click on the new report. So, this is the Directivity 3D polar plot. Next, we can observe the electric fields, and this is the structure. So, in this structure, so this is the port 1, this is port 1. And this is port 1 and this is port 2. So observe the electric fields. So first select the structure. First select the structure. Go to field overlays. And this is the mode 1. Port 1 electric fields. This is mode 2. Port 2. Next, observe the uh, animations of the 
electric fields and magnetic field. First select the structure and after that go to the field overlays. Right click on field overlays, select the plot fields, electric field, vector electric field. Select the vector electric field, click on the done button. So these are the electric field lines from the transmission line. And now we are the right click on this vector P1, start the animation. So this is the direction of the electric field lines, vector electric field lines from the microstrip transmission line. the top view this is a top view and this is the bottom view and this is a right view and this is the left view and this is the front view direction of the electric fields and this is the back view direction of the electric fields And after that we can observe the first select the structure right click on the field overlays go to plot fields select vector magnetic fields vector magnetic fields so click on the done button so these are the vector magnetic fields from the transmission line so right click on vector H1, start the animation. So this is the direction of vector magnetic fields from the microstrip transmission line. And this is the front view of the vector magnetic fields direction and this is the bottom view of the vector magnetic fields and this is the right view and this is the left view and this is the front view And this is the back view. So these are the field animations of microstrip transmission line.
and after that we can observe the uh, radiation 3d polar plot radiation 3d polar plot with structure and this is the structure of the this is the structure of the microstrip transmission line so we want to observe the uh, 3d polar plot radiation pattern 3d polar plots with structure so right click on the field overlays go to the plot fields select radiation field and select 3d polar plot 1 or 3d polar plot 2 so now we are i i choose uh, I selected 3D polar plot 2 and set the transparency is 0.85. So click on the apply button. So this is a 3D polar plot radiation pattern with structure. So these are the simulation results of lambda by 2 microstrip transmission line at 5 gigahertz operating frequencies.